Hello and welcome to another video on basic fiber optics. So in a previous video, we analyzed pulses which are intense enough to generate cell phase modulation and are propagating through a fiber with enormous dispersion where the beta 2 value is negative. That can lead to solitons, which are these very predictable pulses that either have oscillatory behavior as you see here, or have, let's say, um, even an envelope that retains its shape as it propagates down the length of the fiber. But one thing we might want to investigate is whether that sort of predictable behavior is stable against small perturbations. In other words, if we add a tiny amount of noise to the pulse, will it retain its very stable shape or does something unexpected happen? Well, it turns out that something, something unexpected does happen, namely that we get something called modulation instability. So to understand this effect, we should first think about an experimental video I created earlier about four-way mixing. So in this case, we launched two very um, sort of clean lasers into a fiber with high linearity, and the interference of these two lasers actually generated new frequency sidebands. And this happened because as the um, lasers interfere, we modulate the power, which modulates the refractive index, which modulates the phase of the laser sinusoidally, which generates these new frequency components that you can see here. We sent in this red laser and this red laser, and in the output, we got some extra frequency components coming out. So essentially, if we add some noise to the pulses we're simulating, then we'll add a whole bunch of new frequency components. And because of the negative value of the dispersion, some of those frequency components will be sort of better at stealing power from the um, main carrier frequency. And they will sort of gain a lot of power at the expense of the carrier frequency and all the other ones. So we're going to see something interesting coming out in just a moment because of that. Uh, before we go into the details, I do recommend checking out this derivation here, presented by, what's his name again? Marcus Newman, who's uh, done all the analytical calculations and set them up very nicely. So go check that out if you're interested in all the uh, calculation details. So anyway, we're going to import the usual um, functions here and set up a time base and also define the fiber here with a certain length and a gamma value and a negative beta 2 value. Then we're going to generate a clean Gaussian pulse with no noise and a noisy Gaussian pulse with actually a tiny amount of noise corresponding to one part in a thousand of the, the max amplitude here. So when we do that, it's possible to take a look at their spectra here. So you can see the clean pulse and the noisy pulse, as well as the clean spectrum right here and the noisy spectrum right here. So you can see that there's sort of a noise floor to the noisy spectrum, but nothing going on here. And the clean pulse doesn't have any fussiness, but the noisy one has a little bit of um, variations on top of it. Also, we can calculate what's called the modulation stability frequency. That's essentially the um, sort of characteristic frequency that's expected to steal the most power from the um, the main carrier frequency here. So if we push all of this through the fibers, both the clean pulse and the um, noisy pulse, which I've done here in advance because it takes a while to, to compute, we get the following result here. So for the clean pulse, we have a situation with the initial and final one basically look identical. We can see that the orange one, the final one, maybe has converged a bit towards something that looks like a soliton because that's sort of the normal mode of propagation when you go through a um, fiber with negative dispersion. And again, the pulse illusion seems pretty, pretty clean right here. So now let's see what happens if we take a look at the noisy pulse. So this behavior is clearly very, very different. And remember, the only difference here is that we've added a tiny amount of amplitude noise to the system. The fiber is the same, the overall shape of the interpulse is the same, and this is the output we get compared to the previous one. So it's a huge difference, as you can see. So essentially, again, what's happened here is that these little variations in the amplitude caused by the noise have essentially been amplified because of modulation stability, which is analogous to uh, four-way mixing, as I mentioned earlier. And to understand a little bit more clearly what's happening here, we can take a look at a quick animation I produced. So we have zoomed into the, the peak of the noisy pulse, so it looks pretty much like it's continuous wave light right here. And you can see for the most part, nothing seems to be happening here. But now you can maybe see there's a little bit of a variation going on here. Slight oscillation on top of the general pulse, which is growing and growing and growing. And as we approach, I think it's like 200 meters, this is going to really take off. So now you can see more and more energy gets transferred from the carrier frequency into these adjacent frequency modes causing a, an oscillation on top of the, the pulse here that really seems to get <laughs> get out of hand right now. So notice we get all these interesting and uh, weird spikes that sort of appear and disappear. And the spacing, if you actually measure this, to like 20 picoseconds, we get like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That kind of matches the um, modulation stability frequency of 150 gigahertz we calculated earlier. So note the interesting part here that the power variation of these spikes can actually change quite a bit. You can see this one jumps up to quite high value, like 8 times what we and peak power here, this one goes up to 10. So you can actually go into the details and like analyze the statistics of these peak powers here, which you might do in a, an upcoming video. So anyway, I hope you can, that gives you a picture of how modulation stability works. Uh, feel free to check out the source code in the description and stay, stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.